What's going on everybody? It's your boy the low-key legend. How the fuck y'all doing today? I'm doing all right today I am back with a brand new episode of stoner tips for you guys Yes, sir ski. We are back with episode 163 of the stoner tips series man Today's topic is a requested one by one of you guys So shout out to you for requesting these topics man As I said before if you guys have requests for anything you want to hear drop them in the comment section right now But today's topic we are going to be covering the subject of flavored rolling papers guys so with that being said if you guys do enjoy or learn anything at any point in this video be sure to hit the thumbs up button right now man it goes a super long way if you guys are new as well subscribe hit the bell icon to always stay notified never miss out on a brand new video from the kid anyways let's dive on into this video guys talking about some flavored joint papers okay so i have smoked quite a couple different kinds of flavored rolling papers all right personal ones the ones that i tried first were the juicy j rolling papers okay so them were the first flavored rolling papers i have ever tried and now they had a lot of different kinds to choose from they had strawberry i know was one of them i think they had grape they had a lot of different flavors uh, i do remember picking up specifically grape and strawberry i do believe those were the two i think they had blueberry as well they had a lot like this was literally i was shopping online and looking at all these flavors and i was like there were so many flavors guys it was ridiculous juicy j literally has a brand of just straight up flavored rolling papers now here's the thing though with them flavored rolling papers now you can definitely taste them rolling up not gonna lie but for me personally joints in general for me guys let me get this out there for me joints really have no taste at all all right they don't have any taste i'll pack them up they really don't have no taste all right now when you add when you try to add flavor to something that already has no taste it kind of makes it, you know, it's more of a hit or a miss at that sense. It's either you can immediately taste all of what you're trying to taste or you don't taste any of it because there's nothing to really taste at all in general now for me guys i'm not gonna lie i have smoked these a handful of times and they were rolled pretty poorly i do believe uh but for me from what i can remember they did not um really have a flavor like as as you were rolling them up because you had to manually roll them up um they had a flavor but after that guys it really like it had okay i can't lie i can't say it had no flavor it, it had a slight like like to the point where it's like you can you can barely taste it like but it's still kind of there you know and at that point it, it's it wasn't all there for me is what i'm trying to summon up here guys it wasn't like but for some people it can be you know if you smoke joints and you enjoy trying out different shit definitely invest in a pack of these dude or a couple packs they're real real cheap as well if you get them online um you can get i would recommend the juicy j flavored ones because them for uh, for me at least those are my favorite and the only ones i've smoked so i can't really compare them to anything else but um yeah that th those would be my personal uh my personal take on flavored joint papers for for me, you can't really taste it at, in general, all right? It, that's just how my body is. Now, when it came to the flavored rolling papers, I, I'm gonna have to get one and re-smoke it again. It's been a very long time, so I feel kind of, you know, out of place talking about this in general, but in the la from what I can remember, the last time that I did smoke one of these guys, it was not all like it, it was the same thing as a normal joint it just had a little bit of a flavor it's like barely noticeable flavor like you would have to make out like you know if you were smoking it regularly you probably would taste it because it wouldn't taste like a regular you know joint just because of i i, I can't tell you guys why i can't tell you why it's an investment i would recommend you guys to try for yourself especially it's definitely something out there that is enjoyable for some people um but like right now i'm kind of getting tempted to just go out and and get a pack of flavored rolling papers and do that for my next episode of sesh like right now type shit I, because it's been so long that i'm, I'm actually kind of curious on if it actually provides a taste but then again guys the only thing holding me back is joints for me have no taste you know it's just like the weed the strong weed if there's so much weed in there you're not gonna be able to even taste the paper at all you know especially if you're rolling a gram blunt the paper's so thin as it is you're not really tasting it it's just kind of something there to burn the weed you know and even if it is is a, a grape flavored you're not really tasting anything at all in general so that little bit you are tasting might taste like grape you know that's what i'm trying to get at in general with this episode of stoner tips man this has been episode 160 what three of the stoner tips series talking about flavor 
flavored or uh yeah flavored rolling papers man let me know in the comments if i missed anything i probably did um it let me know your guys's personal suggestion or personal recommendations on these if they're worth it uh if you tried them before what you guys think about them your personal opinions i should say uh in the comments section if you guys are new like i said sub just like the video right now i love each and every one of you guys though man i appreciate all the support i have been getting on my recent videos man it means a lot to me love each and every one of you again man y'all stay safe though stay savage stay low key it's your boy the low key legend i'm out of here guys adios